welcome back. I know I look fabulous today. It's because I'm bringing to you a method of heatless curling. Yes. This is not that one video that I promised it's going to be in the future, but this is the one where I'm testing out a product that you guys recommended a lot and I've had my eye on, so I'm very excited. If you guys want to see how to do this, I'll keep on watching. So right now we're going to be testing out the curl formers. You guys have requested this a lot and I'm excited as well because they're heatless curlers that give a really nice curl to your hair. So I got two types of curls. The first ones are the green and the blue which you have the long and the short version. And these ones give you the very tight and narrow curls. And then I picked up this one right here, which is the pink and the orange. And I got both the short and the long version, but these ones give you more of like a wide, less curly curl. Hope that makes sense. So I figured I would test them out both for you, one on wet hair, damp hair like I have right now, and then the other on dry hair and see which one gives the best results. So let's start out first with the tight ones. So before we even begin, you will need the styling hook for the curl formers, and it is sold separately, which kind of sucks. I don't get why, but you gotta make the money somewhere, even though these are not that cheap anyways. So, you get, in the long ones, you get eight of them, and in the short ones, you get 10 of them. So let's test them out. So I just took a shower and my hair is slightly damp. It's not like soaking wet. You can see some areas already getting dry. So it says for best results, section off your hair and get as many curls as you can in your head, which is awesome because I always section off my hair when I curl it or straighten it. I'm on board. All right, so let's open this hook up. Let's see it. Oh, dang, what is this thing? To make it longer, I think. No, I think it's to make it longer. Well, that's interesting. Let me rip this open. But it's very long. All right, let's start. I'm excited, so excited. The difference between the green and the blue is they go different ways, like the curls. The green, I think it goes towards the left and the blue goes towards the right, so it's kind of cool. And you have like these openings, bottom and the top, to where the curls stay in place. It's kind of like this rubbered little holding here on the very top, it's kind of cool. So basically what it says is to just like take it through, just like so, just like that. Okay, that wasn't that hard. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're gonna start doing this. It says to grab your hair, put it through the little hook and then just take it up. And then with the other hand, we're just gonna pull the hair through, just like this with the hook, just like that. Oh, there it is. Got it. All right, so I'm gonna keep doing this. All right, man. It's not that hard, I thought it would be harder. Okay, it's not that bad. So what you do is just put it through one end, just like that, make sure your hook is visible. You grab a section of hair, get the hair in the hook, and then just take it like this with the other finger. Bring up the curler. There we go. And just pull the hook down with the hair. Okay, so I have a total of seven short ones on the lower hair. All right, so I'm not sure I have enough of all of these. I did read that a bunch of people said that one little package was not enough. You have to have like at least three to four depending on how much hair you have, and I don't even have that much hair. All right, so for this second section, I'm actually gonna take the longer ones, the same thing, plop them in there. There we go. Get it in there. Pick up the curl with the other hand. Get it through. And pull. All right. Don't know what that is. Okay, I don't know what's, what's happening here. All right, I guess that's okay. Yeah, I already don't like these too much because they're sort of damaging my hair already. If you dye your hair or you color your hair, it's very, very fragile when wet. So you're like pulling it really tight. I'm gonna open up these bad boys because I have no more blue or green left. Probably just need one more package of either long or short. So I probably need a total of three packages just for my short, thin hair. The verdict is I like the wider ones better because 
It's not as tight on my hair. When, when I pull it through, it's easier. I don't have to put too much force into it. Just like that. It's very nice and gentle on my hair. So basically all you have to do is you could either sleep with them overnight or you can just wait for them to dry. Give it a couple of hours or you can use a blow dryer for maybe like 10 minutes or so. Give them nice heat, let them dry. And I did actually rip one. <laughs> so be careful when you actually put it in from the very end or whatever end you put it in. When you stick it in. When you stick it in, be gentle. <laughs> they like it nice and easy. <laughs> oh. Is that what she said? <laughs> That's what she said. And Andre, Andre hit me in the eye. He was helping me put one through and he snapped it right in my eye. I was crying. Well, my eye was crying, just this one. It's been three hours later and I think my hair is fully dried. We're gonna try to take them out, see if it's fully dried or not. I hope it is, fingers crossed. And Andre just said that I look like Medusa, the Greek goddess. Look into my eyes. You would like this video. If only it was that easy. So what it says is to hold, kind of like squeeze it to open it up. And then with the other hand, just straighten out the curl. And then we're just gonna pull it out, just like so. Oh, look at that. It's dry, but it's very like frizzy. We'll see, we'll see what to do with it. I don't know. It's like dull. Like yeah, I actually had a doll I got a gift from my parents when I was a little kid. I think I still have one. I think I still have it at my parents' house somewhere in the attic. And it had curls like this and I was always dreaming like, oh, I wish I had hair like this. And I'd always play with her hair. And I even cut her hair with my little sister and we thought it was going to grow back. Yep. Well, these are cute. Oh, I love these ones. These ones right here are the wide curls versus the tight curls. Oh yeah, that's super cute. They're a lot cuter than the narrow ones. So honestly, these are kind of painful, these really tight ones, because they really pull on your hair when you try to take them out. Maybe it's just my head, but it's not really that sensitive. Yeah, these, these narrow ones are a fail. I don't like them at all. It looks like a mess, let's be honest. I'm gonna take some of this BB Brilliant. It's just like a little paste for your hair and I'm gonna try to define the curls just a little bit. The wider ones are slightly better because they're more defined. They're just not all over the place, so I like that. But these narrow ones, I don't know, no, no. They might work better on certain type of hair because my hair is really, really thin and fine. So maybe that's why, but this is not a good look. I feel bad, so I'm gonna try, wash my hair again, get them damp, and then actually try the wider curls because I had a better result. This right here is with the wider set. Look, this is really pretty, look at that. It's actually bouncy, it's a actual curl. We'll apply these overnight. I will try to sleep in them even though it's super painful and we'll see what kind of result we get in the morning. Hopefully it's not gonna be too crazy uncomfortable. And yes, this actually feels much better on my scalp than these narrow, really thin ones. Those really, really were pulling on my head. All right, so I'm gonna go sleep. Well, actually I'm gonna go edit right now, <laughs> then sleep. And then in the morning, we will see how well these are. All right, it's the next morning. I'm excited to take these out, are you? Because because I sure am. All right, so basically the same thing like with the other ones. You stretch it out to kind of make it as straight as possible. This top portion and just pull it out gently. Well, look at that. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I'm definitely going to have to pull these apart, but I'm excited. And these are a lot gentler to take out of my hair. The other ones were like pulling it. Oh, look at this one. These are so bouncy. Wow. <laughs> I have way too much fun. Too much fun. Too much. Too much, Milana. Too much. Last one. I am so much happier with these <laughs> results. Wow. They actually feel so much better than the other ones. These actually feel like my hair. The other ones felt like doll hair where it's really kind of feels like straw. You know what I'm talking about? That kind of feeling. All right. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the same paste by Bumble and Bumble, the BB Brilliant. I love this stuff. Love it. 
Just take a little bit of it and I'm gonna pull apart these curls just to kind of give it a little bit more texture and dimension and definition, right? We need more definition in these curls. I'm just taking each, each section and just pulling apart as many sections out of that one section as I can, just like that. That way it'll look like I have a lot more hair and it will be a little bit more defined. All right, so there we have something. It still looks like a really hot mess just because it's just wanting to lay where it was parted with the curl formers, which kind of sucks, like right here especially in the very top. I don't know what to do with that. And then some of them kind of didn't really curl as well, maybe while I was sleeping because I was trying to sleep on my back and it was really, really painful. I don't know how any of you guys sleep with these in. They are not comfortable whatsoever. I would just wear these during the day, but I think the only way I would be able to make this work on my hair and like my face shaped to make it actually look pretty, I think I'd probably do some kind of updo. Like the one that I did with the 10 holiday updos, maybe like the first one with the headband, do something like that. I think that would be very pretty. But overall, I am very impressed. And there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully I showed you guys the proper results if you're looking to buy these and I didn't spook you away. I'm definitely gonna play around with them, actually just experiment the way to place them so I don't get crazy party lines like that. But I will keep you guys updated in my future videos if I like them as much as I do now. Thank you so much for watching this video, spending some time with me. I hope you give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, comment down below and I will see you guys very soon in the next one. I love you all very much. Bye.